So about a week ago, uh, KK Game Dev Studio released Freeman Guerrilla Warfare patch 0 0.8. And this patch has been met with two very, very polar opposite opinions. Some people love it, and some people not so much. And the biggest reason for that are the guttings, well, technically speaking, re temporary removal of several features that we have grown very accustomed to, you know, prior to 0 0.8. Now, I personally uh, understand some of this criticism, but I think at least from what I've been seeing so far till now, it's been blowing a little bit out of the water. Granted, the removal of certain features is understandable. Like, you know, for example, you're, you're taking away stuff like vehicles, which many people have grown accustomed to. I was not really fond of those because on very hard difficulty, I got my shit kicked in and it was not fun at all. But this is beside the point. This is kind of just to, or at least this video, is going to be to kind of just address, you know, why... Uh, I think some of the criticism is happening as well as just the general state of the game. So yeah. The devs here mentioned that, you know, we've lost companions, night vision goggles, camouflage, even though I don't really think that did much, binoculars, I don't even know anyone that used those, weather, abil weather okay, ability to give med kits to units, that was helpful, melee weapons, and different difficulty modes. Okay, so anyone who like are uh, who's upset about let's say you know melee weapons, let's be real, man. You never used melee weapons in the first place. So like, unless the game's completely reprogrammed, does this really upset? Like, no, it doesn't really upset you. Now, obviously, I know a lot of people aren't really complaining about this, but you know, just for example, like a lot of the features that were removed, I feel like the necessity for those. Are kind of overblown and this isn't even removed this is just like we'll come back for sure so they're you know they're like tentatively balancing the game right now because let's be honest right now the game is way more broken than it was in 0 0.222 right way more broken biggest problem in 0 0.222 was that freaking tanks had aimbot enemy vehicles had they would like tag you from across the map while your guys are basically freaking trackpad in that shit right like the enemy had a mouse and you had a, your team had a trackpad when aiming. That's essentially the biggest balance problem that I had in 0 0.222, right? Right now, you got bandits that are ganging up on you and blowing you to shit. Like, you got 50 stacks against, you know, what is it your party that you start out with? 8, 10? You're not going to survive the early game. The early game's freaking brutal right now. Obviously, they're balancing that, but the biggest point right now is there's a lot more problems to be, like, the devs are going to be focused on instead of which features have been cut and you know there's a very good reason why a lot of these features are probably cut when you redesign a freaking game right everything has to change like it, let, let's look at how the game looks compared to what it was in 0 0.22 like it's a huge graphical overhaul like huge the the update guys was 3.2 gigs two or two to three gigs okay and the test version was pretty much like 2.1 gigs as well if you opted into that. So you're looking at like, I'm so, I'm gonna I might sound a little bit salty here, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. This is an indie dev studio. This isn't freaking CDK Red Project, right? We, 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 this isn't Ubisoft. This isn't Rockstar, right? This is a small, passionate dev team who maybe the members you can count on, you know, your fingers. So. Right when you see an update like this, this is, it's not normal. It's extraordinary. It truly is. Like when you, when you just look at the game right now and how it is. I still, in terms of just a graphical overhaul, would play this. Now, obviously, right now, um, I've, I, you know that I haven't done, a, you know, another playthrough season three, and that's because I've just been taking a break. Because let's be honest, man, season two really took the shit out of me, and I'm waiting for a lot of bugs to get patched. Which they did because they just dropped 0 0.81. So when you know the the complaints behind these features, a lot of it's justifiable. But I think that the biggest issue is because we were, um, or at least a lot of people were expecting, you know, full 1.0 by what was it? 
when they first announced by December or something, and then that got pushed back, and then it kept it basically 1.0 kept getting pushed back as they continued to add more and more updates to the game, right? And that kind of hyped this up, created a sense of urgency. This is really similar to kind of like the banner the banner lord situation that's going on right now, right? It was announced in 2016 to be playable, right? Playable in 2016, announced in 2012. Then the release they got removed. Technically speaking, we don't really know when 1.0 is going to come out, except for the fact that spring this year. And who knows, it could get pushed back even further as they're trying to re-ingratiate some of these features that were removed, like companions and night vision goggles. Our expectation and the kind of hype that was built for 1.0 may have attributed to 0.8 getting released. I think that and this might be a tin tin hat, tin foil hat theory, but I think if we didn't like freaking, you know, badger the devs all the time about a release date prior to that live stream where they announced it, we still would be playing on 0.222. Like a part of me thinks that there was a little bit of pressure to get 0.8 out to kind of like satisfy the community because, you know, prior to this update, we were getting what? monthly weekly bi-weekly updates like it was we were getting a constant stream like 0 0.22 is the probably the longest version we've been on so yeah whether or not like you know you can't really help um pressure but i i just i would hate to think that like we were somehow responsible for whatever it is we got right now and the truth is we might have been right we we might have been responsible for kind of like a 0 0.8 update but that's but that's beside the point just we got to enjoy the update and give the devs time to like you know balance and program everything because i'm pretty sure that 1.0 is going to have every feature that we're missing right now i, I know for a fact that devs the only reason they would remove something is if they have tried every single avenue to incorporate it and it just doesn't work they're, they're live all the time on twitch they're live on discord they're constantly talking with us and it, this kind of like um i don't want to say upsetting but it's just kind of like oh damn you know like kind of like um unfortunate situation that they've been bombarded with all these like you know where's this why was this removed that they had to make a post for this right like obviously this is a really good post it explains everything better than I could possibly explain, but this is just kind of like another opinion. Obviously, we're gonna slip into moments where we were just like, oh, there's no release date, right? Oh, just give us 1.0, or oh, we'll find something else to complain about. But uh, let's just give the devs our support, guys, because they've one, definitely earned it, and two, this update is amazing. They definitely have the track record and have shown us that they'll get to it, guys. They'll fix this. This this will be a drop in the bucket. We'll, we won't even be talking about the brokenness of 0.8. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this. I don't even know if this was a rant or what, a, what kind of video this is. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.